All right, where are we starting at? Drop shot, I say, it originally said versus Rhino Head, which Rhino Head's a shaky head I, I, I've designed. Um, but they go together like bread and butter, I guess you could say, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, necessary for consistent success, yeah, springtime fishing. Um, a drop shot is, I don't know, I've been doing it since 98. I first did it in about 96, 97, fishing with some of the Japanese anglers in uh, California. And I was like everybody else, slow to get smart on it. And uh, so about 96, I was shown the drop shot by Japanese people on a guide trip at Casitas. I used to guide when I was a kid, and then uh, <clears throat> I was split shotting back then, and it was very effective, but they did about as good as I did with the drop shot. You know, they had the line all the way through the hook and the little tungsten weights already back then. And uh, I just didn't catch on fast enough. It was probably uh, about a year and a half after that's when I finally kind of started playing with it. And uh, along with uh, probably a handful of other guys in California that got smart to it and started using it in tournaments, they started really kind of figuring out how to hook a worm on it and make it work right. So it was about 97, 98 was when I really got the drop shot bug. And uh, it was definitely fish in California, the western lakes, even Lake Mead and Havis and all that was real big. Uh, a lot of clear water lakes. Uh, a lot of fish get down, you know, almost all those lakes at certain times of the year, they're down over 80 feet on those lakes. And you gotta remember those lakes are, uh, our lakes in California, for the most part are really deep. I know Justin said, I, he asked me how deep I come, it's uh, Orville, but I think Orville is the tallest standing dam in North America. I think when the water's full in a lake, it is 960 feet deep. It's quite a bit deeper than any lake I've been in out here. So, there we go again. It's just me, I got energy. So the, 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 over the years, I have figured out that one of the most important things I've, I know guys talk about water color, water temperature, time of year. Also, what's the maximum depth of a lake you're fishing? Is that will determine, it seems like over the years of fishing all these different lakes, uh, the deeper the main body is or the deeper maximum depth the lake is, the deeper the fish will go. So like, Oroville, I've caught fish there at 160 feet in practice, and those were on the bottom. Those were at the bottom of uh, at the water, at, at the at ground level. They weren't, they weren't up suspended. They were on the bottom. And that's where a lot of the bait was at. The other one, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of, is I call it a ghillie rig. Uh, I just named it after a friend of mine. That name was Scott Gilly in Georgia. He's watching, probably. Uh, his name is Scott Gilly, so I named And he whacked me and my friend Joe's Heine up north, uh, like in up by Lake Huron, one of those small finger lakes. He, and he did it unintentionally, which I've played with that rig before. It don't look like much, but that, that's my favorite way of rigging a drop shot now, as a ghillie rig. That is, and these guys, a lot of these pros don't know about, you guys probably know before they do, they don't listen to stuff, but that one right there is unbelievable. On any, almost any worm. It looks stupid, but <laughs> the cool thing about it is where it's hooked, when you move that bait, it goes forward. It wants to swim forward. So, so when you, work it, when you work it like that, every time you lift the worm up, it wants to dart forward. And so if you do that multiple times, the tail wags the whole time. So you can actually swim it like a fish. It looks like a fish in the water. No other rig except for a wacky rig quite does that like that ghillie rig. So that's my number one favorite, ghillie rig. And then it's perfect name, guys, ghillie, and it also you hook it about where the gill's at of a bait and go straight to the bottom of the worm, salt side first, straight through it to the top, and that's it. Uh, the uh, fourth one's obviously a Texas rig drop shot. Uh, I use that one probably half the time out of all of them. It's just because I'm fishing, like I'll have a nose hook. Like when it's a drop shot by, I'll have at least two rigs. I'll have one with a Texas rig. almost always have one with a Texas rig and I'm fishing a brush pile. Because it's still hard to throw that nose. Any of those other ones, it's hard to throw where there's brush and trees without snagging. So I usually use a, always, always have a Texas rig rigged up and a nose hook rigged up. And, and a couple rhino heads. Unless I'm somewhere where I don't need those. But almost always, almost always has a red depth in my boat, ready to go. Um, what else do we have? You guys get enough of that? No way, there's way more than that. High speed, high speed reels. Uh, that's important for spinning gear to keep up with the fish. You know, you hook them. Uh, a lot of times you're 30, 40 feet out and 20 feet of water and all of a sudden there's two or three of them on the graph. 
Uh, that's a whole nother story, but you want to get that bait in real fast. And, and that's what brings me on to the next point, which I don't know if I talked about up there, is uh, swivel and drop shot. Uh, now, when I just said my reel it up real fast, uh, there's very few rigs that won't twist your line. The wacky rig won't twist real bad, hardly at all. Uh, the gilly rig, not so bad. It kind of, the head bends and kind of goes to the water shaking, and they actually bite it sometimes on the way up to the way it looks. Uh, the nose hooks, and they tend to, no matter how you rig them, and no matter what hook you use, unless you use Shimfikai's swivel hook, they're gonna, it's gonna twist on you, and it's gonna helicopter, and it's gonna wrap all your braid up, twist it up real bad. Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Subscribe today.